talk more about the science behind this because yes. this is really fascinating and a great education for all of us on this total solar eclipse day. So let's bring in the curator and professor of the Department of Astrophysics at the American Museum of Natural History, Mordecai Mark Maclow. Thank you so much for joining us, Professor. So fascinating and I want to jump right into this because we have so many questions for you. But when we hear this being described as a once in a generation Wonderful. event, when we think about just back, you know, 2017, there was another eclipse. What makes this year's eclipse different than the one seven years ago? Uh, it's going the other direction across the country. <laughs> These things are very rare. The next eclipse that will actually be total in New York City will be in 2079. Uh -huh. So that's what we mean by they're rare. Any particular spot, it's not going to come around very often. If you're willing to travel, sure, in a couple of years there will be another total eclipse somewhere. But it's probably going to be in Siberia or the Pacific Ocean or something. All right, so you mentioned New York City. Let's talk New York specifics, right? Because we are 90% totality. What does that mean exactly? What will we see specifically here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 90% totality means that the moon is crossing 90% of the way across the sun. It won't quite cover the sun. It is this cosmic coincidence that the moon nearby is exactly the same size as the distant but much larger sun. And so it exactly covers the sun in the region of totality. We're not there. We're going to see that sliver of 10% of the sun. It'll be a beautiful crescent, but the sun is incredibly bright. So even 10% of that brightness is still to our eyes extremely bright, which is why we can't look at it without glasses. Better to use one of those indirect methods. Make little pinholes with your hand and look at the ground, look at leaves, look for those crescent sh uh, shapes shadows because that will show you the progress of the moon across the sun as this goes on. Um, we will see if the sunlight will feel a little weaker. We won't feel quite as warm standing in the sun because we are cutting down 90% of the energy. But optically looking around it'll just look a little faint. It won't look dramatic the way it would in totality. Wow, just incredible. Just a wonderful educational experience for our kids. Yeah. And for us, thank you so much. We so appreciate it.